Hey guys, this is Balance from WCReplays.com, bringing you another audio for the site. It's copyrighted, so don't steal it. That having been said, let's go ahead and get started. This week I have a Night Elf vs. Undead matchup for you guys, as many people have requested. And just for me, I wanted to do a commentary on Night Elf vs. Undead, as I've been struggling in this matchup a lot recently myself. It's, it's a tough one for us elves. Uh, so the game that I picked out for you today is... About is from rather two slightly lesser known players, perhaps. They're not uh, necessarily international players just yet, but they're very, very good players, as I'm sure you will agree after watching this replay. It's a game between Boo and Sonic. Boo being from Clan Delta, which is probably the biggest uh, American clan right now in terms of talent and success. And uh, Sonic is from NGT, and I believe they may have recently changed their name to RAC. Uh, but they're a fairly well-known team, and this game is from the TFL Finals. If you're not familiar with TFL, it's the Frozen League. It's been around for quite a while now. Uh, it's a fairly, you know, high caliber in terms of lots of lots of teams that are sort of at the maybe at the lower end of W of of NGL, or you know, trying to qualify for WC3L. Sort of like maybe right a step below those kind of leagues. And it's a uh, great, great game. I highly recommend that people look at their replays in addition to WCR stuff. So this is where that game's from. And again, this is Boo um, from Delta and Sonic from NGT. And uh, Sonic will be playing our Night Elf. Boo will be playing the Undead. This game takes place on Knoll Wood, which is especially interesting because that is probably a particularly tough map uh, for the Night Elf versus Undead players, which is something that I'll talk about in the replay. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, you can go ahead, as usual, and get paused at the 15 second mark, one time speed, fog of war off, night elf perspective, Sonic's perspective in this case. Let you get synced up, and unpause in 3, 2, 1, go. So again, this is taking place on Null Wood. Sonic is spawned over on the right hand side of the map, but he's spawned over on the left hand side. I mentioned a second ago that this can be a tough map uh, for Night Elf vs. Undead, and the reason, in my opinion, is that it's a pretty strong gargoyle map. You'll, uh, you'll see a lot of Undead choosing to go gargoyles here, because uh, it's difficult for the Night Elf player to expand on this map. The expansion creeps are pretty tough. You either have to deal with poison creeps or you have to deal with the, uh, the golems of the gold mine, and the expansions are fairly far away. So it's fairly easy to for the Undead to screw with your expansions uh, with gargoyles. The Undeads can also use expan gargoyles to creep the Red Drake in the middle of the map uh, very easily via gargoyles. Your is is and, uh, and the Undead also has uh, potentially has the advantage of the Mana Fountain, as that's very good for Undead heroes late game. They can tank up on Mana really easily with the Mana Fountain. And the Health Fountain isn't necessarily an advantage for for either player, although people might argue that. Hell Fountain is a Hell Fountain. So yes, traditionally a very strong map for Undead, as it's the difficulty of the creeps and the size of the map makes it easy for them to control it with Gargoyles, and Gargoyles in general are pretty good on this map. Nolan in general is a tricky map for a lot of players. Uh, it's tough to know when to expand, where to expand. Uh, it's tough to scout a lot of the time. You know, it's, it's one of those maps where it's really easy to get your units rally jacked by creeps, and uh, it's tough to keep your wisps in good position all around the map at all times and cover all the angles. It's a tricky map, and I think it'll be good to cover a common uh, to cover a, a match on this map. And so if you'll you'll watch what Sonic's doing. Uh, he chooses to go ahead and straight tech. You can see from his build that he's already putting up a Hunter's Hall, and he's building his base in a neat little defensive arc uh, so he can put stuff behind that line, and you'll see him putting a Protector up right at the start of the game. So he's doing this straight tech build with a uh, with a Demon Hunter, and these are interesting choices. You know, traditional choices in this matchup are, for example, Beastmaster and that sort of thing, uh, but creeping early game is difficult on this map, like I said. There aren't a whole lot of good creep spots, and if you want to creep that expansion, you're going to have uh, a little bit of trouble because of the assassins, and it's uh, just a little harder than it normally is on this map, probably. Uh, and the and it's pretty easy for the undead to uh, pick off units when you're having to deal with poison and that sort of thing. So a lot of times it's good to not creep, 
um, and instead just uh, go for your stronger late game units right away um, and uh, use your Demon Hunter to harass. Now if you notice on the left hand side of the map, Sonic's doing something really interesting here, which is he went Immolation first. And if you take a look at Boo's Ghouls, um, you'll notice that it's actually fairly effective. Uh, I've noticed watching Sonic that something that he likes to do a lot is go Immolation first. Um, and it's not always the best choice, but you can see he did, he was able to kill a ghoul there, even though he did have to TP out. And the advantage that, that he's gained is that he was able to damage Boo's Ghouls quite a bit. And so when he runs back uh, to Boo's side of the map, he'll probably be able to, do, uh, to, to finish off the job. The other thing about going Immolation first uh, is that Sonic not noticed immediately that it's a Mana Fountain in the center of the map, I'm sure. It's something that you should always do whenever you play Nolwood. Make sure you have your Gamma turned up high enough so that you can tell the color of the fountain. You can look at it even when Fog of War is over it, so just look at the center of the map and take a look at what kind of fountain you're dealing with as it'll potentially affect your choices. In a Mana Fountain situation, um, it makes sense to go a Mana, mana Intensive Skill, like Immolation first. So... Those are a couple of reasons why Immolation might be uh, might be an interesting choice. It's it's in my opinion though it's sort of a matter of personal preference. Uh, there's I'm certainly not telling you to go Immolation. You can just see that it was actually pretty effective if you do want to try it. But of course, Mana Burn is always a key skill against Undead, especially with a Mana Fountain, really, because it's very important for you to keep that Death Knight Mana low. Um, you'll notice that Sonic has already picked up Boots of Speed and Staff of Teleportation. Very important if you're going to be doing the straight tech. You have a lot of gold to spare, and it's important to have your Demon Hunter able to harass. Um, and you'll notice that uh, Sonic is just sort of staying on Boo here. He was, uh, as, soon as, as soon as he healed up his Demon Hunter, he ran the Demon Hunter to the center of the map and was able to uh, find where Boo was going. And if you're going to be playing this fast tech, it's very important for you to do this. Um, to uh, make sure that you stay on the undead if he tries to creep. If he's trying to hit you, of course, it's very important to have an early protector in your base, just so that you don't get ghoul rushed. The other reason that fast teching like this is probably a good idea, or potentially a good idea on this map, Upgrade. is because the map is so large, and even if they even if they spawn close, it's a fairly sizable distance from um, from you to their base, and so fast teching is often safe. So the combination between fast teching and hard creeps and hard expansions, or sorry, a uh, large map and large creeps and large expansions, um, and a good sort of harassing map because of the difficulty of the creeps, it makes sense to do this uh, to do this fast tech for a lot of different reasons. Something to keep in mind when you're playing against undead players. So you'll notice that uh, that. Sonic has picked up a Panda Second, and if you look uh, down at the lower left tavern, he picked up a, uh, sorry, he placed a shop at that tavern with his Scout Wisp. Now, this is sort of a fun trick uh, for several reasons. If you are interested in trying it, you might find that it works pretty well in some cases. Results may vary, you know, it's not always the best idea, um, as later in the game you're probably going to want to shop in your base anyways, but the fact of the matter is the shops are cheap, and, uh, and having a shop at your disposal, uh, way on the other side of the map, is very useful. You'll notice he was able to grab a uh, Staff of Preservation very quickly, as opposed to having to grab one back in his base. And um, and so it gives you a quick uh, quick item usage, and it also makes it so, uh, makes it so that um, you'll you'll have a slightly more reliable chance at picking up your tavern hero, because a lot of undeads will send ghouls to the taverns if they have spare ghouls lying around. Uh, just to just to make sure um, that you don't have wisps there, and so.